basic purpose of this lesson is to introduce the concept of ceiling and floor height and the basic uses of platform polygons as doors and elevators. Our first task is to create a window. Using our existing map, we'll delete a vertex on one of our polygons. This will allow us to create an additional vertex which is necessary for our window. After we've plotted our first polygon once again, we can add a small rectangular polygon next to it which will become our window. Adjacent to the window, we'll create another large polygon, which will become a room. And to activate the polygons, we'll fill them in. Our next step is to enter visual mode and texture the new polygons. Now, for the sake of brevity, I've applied many of the textures already. Where there was once a wall, there is a new doorway to a larger room. Now we must transform that doorway into a window by adjusting its floor and ceiling height. While we can adjust these heights within visual mode using the mouse and the caps lock key, the draw mode offers a more simple way to assign floor and ceiling heights. Under the view menu, you'll notice an elevation submenu with floor and ceiling options. We'll select floor. Notice that the grid has changed slightly. The floor heights of all polygons are now color-coded and a small floating window has appeared. The floor height of all polygons is currently zero, as indicated by this shade of red. To create our window, we want to raise the floor of the window polygon. To do this, we need to create a new floor height. Double-clicking on the white box gives us the Edit Height dialog in which we'll type 0.5 and click OK. With an elevation of 0.5 selected, we can simply click on the desired polygon to assign the height. We'll need to repeat the same procedure for the ceiling height. We'll select ceiling and then double click on the white box, enter a value of 0.9 and then click on the desired polygon to assign that height. Entering visual mode, we'll see our new window. To polish it up, we'll add the appropriate textures. And there you have it. Our next task is to create a door. To begin, we'll add a few new polygons to our existing map. Now, all door textures in Marathon are one world unit square, so we'll make our door one world unit wide. After we fill these polygons, we'll use the selection tool and double click on our door polygon. An edit polygon dialog will appear. From the type menu, we'll choose platform. Now we'll click on platform data to specify the particulars of the platform. The platform parameters dialog offers a large number of platform options which are explained more fully in your forge manual. We'll take the simple route this time and choose the fit door from the type menu. We'll now go to visual mode to see the results. All we need to do now is apply a door texture, walk to the door, and use the action key to open it.